Hey everyone, Ali Reza here and welcome back to another video. So in this one we are going to look at how we can change the settings of our post-process volume in game when we play the game and in runtime. So here as you can see I have this post-process volume with its settings and let's say that we want to change it in game. Here as you can see after a couple of seconds the setting of the post-process is changed. In order to do it, you need to access this post-process volume actor in your level from your blueprints and in order to do that, there are a couple of ways. The first one is using this get all actors of class mode. So let me delete everything and start from scratch. Here I am in my first person character blueprint, which will be spawned as soon as I play the game. And here on my event begin play, I'm going to get all actors of class and here set the actor class on post process. It will give us all the post process volumes in our level, but since we have only one, it will give us only one actor here. So from this array, I'm going to get a copy and this is a reference to this post process volume here. Next we need to search for get settings. Here it is. It's a struct. And next we need to set members in post process settings. Now if I select this you can see that in the details tab I have access to all of the settings in my post process volume and when I enable these guys you can see we have access to the values here so for example let's play with our chromatic aberration i'm going to turn it on and set the intensity on 10 for example next let's play with our temperature so set the temp on 10,500 and then plug this to our line of code. Here I'm going to add a delay so we can see the change better. Let's add a delay for three seconds. And now if I compile and play after three seconds, the changes take place. Here I'm using an event begin play, but of course you can use all of the events that you see fit for your project. You can set these on keys or custom events and so on. All right, this is one way to access your post-process volume. Another way is to use your level blueprint. So here I'm going to disconnect this. Then go to my level, select the post process volume open up my level blueprint and here when i right click you can see i am able to create a reference to my post process volume and now this is a reference and i can repeat what i did here so here i'm going to get settings then set members in post process settings here add anything I want. For example, let's go with tint, set the tint on three and do it on an event begin play. Again, let's add a delay of three seconds, plug it in. And this one is also disconnected. So it's not working here and the one that will be called is this. So now if I play after three seconds, these settings will take place. So this is another way to access your post-process volume in your level. And the third way is to add a post-process component inside your blueprint here. So here we are having this post process in the level. Let's say that you have not any post process volume in your level. And now you can add the post process 
inside your blueprint itself so here you can add a component post process component make sure it's on infinite or on bound so it covers the whole level and now instead of getting the actors in your level you can just use this reference here so again you can disconnect these grab a reference of your post process here get settings then again set members in post process and repeat the same process so this time let's play with our vignettes and set the vignette intensity for example on 5 again add a delay of 3 seconds and now this time this post process inside your actor will take place but make sure you put this in an actor that is in the level otherwise it's not going to work so now here after 3 seconds we have the vignette so yeah that's it these were three methods that you can use to change the settings in the post process volume that's it for this tutorial i hope you learned something new from this video and if you enjoyed it please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel see you in the next video